listening to I Am Refocused Radio with your host, Shamaya Reed. This show is designed to inspire you to live your purpose and regain your focus. And now, here's your host, Shamaya Reed. Hey, welcome to I Am Refocused Radio. We are here once again. And man, today we have another amazing show line for y'all. We have two special guests. We have Don Argy and Sheena M. Joyce. They are the producers of the new doc. Kelsey is available on Prime right now. Man, I mean, do I even, do I even need to do a breakdown of this amazing thing? Because we all know Kelsey is awesome. So what was it like doing this documentary with Jason Kelsey? I mean, it was it's from... And Eagles for being lifelong Eagles fan. I shouldn't say lifelong. I grew I grew up in North Jersey. I moved here in 19, 1993, but I've been a Birds fan, you know, for at least over twenty years at this point. And um, Sheena grew up in the area and has been a lifelong Eagles fan. So an opportunity to get to make a film not just about the Eagles, but about you know the most one of the most beloved players, you know, in in Eagles history, and Jason Kelsey, and then. Also an opportunity for us to do something in the city that we call home. Uh, our production company, 914 Pictures, turned 20 this year. So we've been in business for 20 years. And, you know, obviously we started out making films locally. Uh, and then in the past, you know, decade or so, we, you know, we've been everywhere but Philadelphia. So even though we finish all our films here, the stories themselves haven't been Philly focused. So it was really an amazing opportunity to get to not just make a film uh, about something that we care passionately about, but to do it in uh, in our own city and to show show what makes the city so special. And I think it was important to be able to like I think the fact that it came from Philadelphia based filmmakers gives it a layer of, you know, honesty that I think if someone came from the outside, they would kind of get it all wrong. So uh, very, very, very fortunate that uh this this film was was kind of a gift for us frankly and 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 we have said and continue to say it's our love letter to the city of philadelphia and sheena what was it like to be behind the scenes to just get extra close to jason uh not just him being on the team as a captain but also being able to see his family and how he was able to just balance all of it all of it together you know, it's funny, there, there's a saying, don't meet your heroes um, because you'll be disappointed. But that is not the case with Jason Kelsey and his family. We felt incredibly privileged to get the kind of access that we got. There's there's no one more authentic than Jason Kelsey. And I, I think that comes through on the screen. Um, we really we spent a lot of time with the family before the Super Bowl run because we originally were making a film about um Jason as he was contemplating retirement and following him in what we thought was his last season and then he decided to come back and we decided to keep filming and that happened to be the season that they went on the Super Bowl run um so it it really was an incredible privilege to get that kind of behind the scenes access um to to anyone in that privileged position um but to have it be your home team was truly special and Don, talk about epic timing. He also <laughs> had his brother Travis in the film as well, and they both play against each other. So how how amazing was the opportunity to be able to document that? You know, when you're when you're making a documentary, um, you know, you, you're you're in tune. You know, I think that's the best the best way to to say it. Just like you know, putting it in football terms, you know, you have to be present. You have to be in the moment. And you know, when you're making a film you know, you're, you're, you're in the moment, you're present and you're thinking about all the things that can happen all the while knowing that you have zero control over the outcome. So I, it's funny, it's not in the movie, but I, I, we were going through when we were cutting the film a couple months ago, uh, there was a scene in the film and uh, you see it when he was hurt. And I think it's week, week six that he uh, kind of rolled his ankle in one of the games. And I was, at his house, uh, you know, he was just kind of like sitting on the couch and rehabbing. And I was asking, asking him a bunch of questions. And one of the questions I asked him was like, Hey, the chiefs seem to be doing pretty good. Do you, you think there's a possibility that you guys could play each other in the Super Bowl? And and he was like, Oh man, that would be amazing. But like, I'm not even, I couldn't even go there yet. So we were already thinking about it because, you know, the Eagles obviously started their season, you know, undefeated and um, up until, you know, eight games in, and uh, the Chiefs were also doing very well. But the other thing that I noticed was watching a few Chiefs games that they 
had a lot of similarities in gameplay, an explosive offense, like really strong defense. So they were they were looking kind of like mirror images of of one another. And you know, again, you're you're a documentary filmmaker, and you you, you have to be present, but you also have to think ahead about, all right, well, what if this happens, then this, and what if this happens, then this. And so at every point, as it started to get, you know, further and further into the season, and it looked like, wow, like, not only are they both going to make the playoffs, but there is a chance now for them to potentially meet in the Super Bowl. And what would that be like? I mean, that's just crazy to think that that could happen. And then, you know, the first AFC and NFC matchup, you know, they both win and then they get to the the championship game and their respective divisions and both win. And at that point, you know, as a Philadelphia fan, I was like, you know what, nothing ever goes our way. And the fact that like they've, they're now in the Super Bowl, they're going to win. Like, and I should have known better as a Philadelphia fan. Yeah, Rocky right. doesn't win at the end of the first film, so. <laughs> so, you know, and so, but it was incredible to be on that journey and um, and look back on it and to, 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 you know, to say that we, you know, were there, had a front row seat to this incredible, magical season with, like, one of the most dynamic and, you know, uh, beloved, you know, figures in Philadelphia sports, you know, Eagles history. Uh, it was it was a dream come true, to be honest. Yeah, I really love the part uh, back in 2018. He's giving that amazing speech. I mean, yeah. Yeah. it's awesome <laughs> feeling that energy. I mean, I feel like anybody who watches this, they're going they're going to be a Jason Kelsey fan at the end of the day. Someone who really appreciate football and what the players bring, you know, every season. You can't help but cheer him on throughout the film. Once again, uh, you Sheena, when you see the wife being pregnant. And it's the Super Bowl time and the mother's there and it's just everyone's in this chaos, but it's, they seem so chill and cool throughout the whole process, having fun. How was it like to witness just the family personal aspect of this? It was an incredible privilege to be given the kind of access that that we got. And I hope it 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 shows um, how authentic these people are. And and um, I think that. I hope that really comes through on the screen, but you know, it's funny, Don and I are also a couple and, and, and we have a kid and it was, it was very funny to see, you know, behind the scenes, Jason and, and Travis were joking about, and well, I mean, it's not just behind the scenes, they did it on their podcast. Like how amazing would it be if Kylie goes into labor at the Super Bowl? Um, and as a, a mom uh, myself, I, all I could think is how horrific would it be to go into labor at the Super Bowl? And Don had gone ahead with, with Jason to uh, Arizona and I was behind with Kylie, um, you know, watching her pack um, prescriptions that she had to get at the pharmacy in case she goes into labor on the plane. And, um, you know, my, my, my heart was in my throat, um, at every second for her. And, um, you know, despite all of, all of that, you know, she made it through the game and, um, delivered a, a beautiful baby girl 10 days after the Super Bowl. So even though, uh, you know, we didn't win the game, I think Jason and his family are certainly winning at life. Yeah, speaking of that, I mean, when I got introduced to New Heights podcast, oh my God, yeah, I'm addicted now. I mean, you can't watch that film and not be a fan of them being, you know, in podcast world as well. I mean, they're really good. And it was funny because Jason was all like, I don't know if I want to do all that. And he's just like a natural. So He's a natural. It's so funny you said that. You're absolutely right. He's He's such a humble, hardworking, authentic guy. But my God, is he talented and charismatic and charming and funny. And Jason and Travis together are a comedy act. Um, and you see a lot of that in the, in the film too. They just give each other a hard time, but under all of it is so much love. And that really comes through. Yeah, as busy as they are, we all have no excuses that they have uh, time to do a podcast show as well. So once again, you can watch Kelsey Prime video. It is available right now. We've been talking to Don Argat and Sheena M. Joyce, the producers of the amazing documentary film. Uh, thank you for your time for you both. Thanks Thank for you having so us, much. Thank you so much. Thank you.